can't believe I'm responsible for hurting someone so, so beautiful and so perfect. I thought that everything that happened with Maya was, was part of my past. That it was history, but, but it's not. I was an idiot. You were right. You deserve to know the truth. And once you wake up, Fancy, I will tell you everything. I'm gonna go check on the kids, okay? Okay. Well, he really is the perfect man. I suppose, if you like mortals. Okay, you little nincompoop. If I hadn't arrived and rescued you, you would have listened to that two-bit astrologer the fox hired, wouldn't you? And then you would have accepted his proposal. Then where would you be? All right. Relax. I'm doing my best. I've already turned him down once. Yeah, well, you're going to go on turning him down until I tell you otherwise. You're working under a double whammy here, you know. The success spell I cast is probably going to split you up anyway. But now the very planets are against you. OK, look. I said that I would wait until the planets are aligned, but that's it. I'll overcome that damn success spell if it's the last thing I do. <laughs> Which it may very well be. What the hell? Oh. oh, I forgot. Mother Goose still upstairs. Mother Goose? Yes, yes, you know the babysitter I hired. She works cheap and she's she's got a real knack with toddlers. Kate, uh, Tabitha, call 911. Oh, oh my God, oh my God, we have to get up there. We have to have an explanation. Yeah. Well, have you got one ready? Me? What? your department. Well, talk about the pot calling the cauldron black. Well, trust the voice of doom to come and ruin my private time with Sam. <laughs> what are you doing here anyway, Eve? Oh my god, is it fancy? Did, did you get the test results back? No, not yet. I just saw you come up here with Sam and I just thought you deserved a warning. A warning? Oh, please, Eve, don't try to frighten me. Oh, Ivy, if you have a brain in your head, you're already frightened. You schemed and connived to get that ring from Sam. So now what's going to happen? What's going to happen when he finds out that you hired David Hastings to pose as Grace's husband? <laughs> that is not going to happen. Ivy, you know better than that. You deliberately set out to ruin his marriage so that you could get your hooks into him. You ruined his life. You ruined Grace's life. You ruined his children's lives. Do you think Sam is going to be able to forgive all that when the truth comes out? And the truth will come out, Ivy. Secrets always do. And when your secret hits the fan, you're not going to lose just Sam. You're going to lose everything. Now, I asked you a question. What the hell are you doing here? You really don't know. Can the great Julian Crane really be that stupid? My God, you... You tried to kill my father, it's you? Teresa! Oh, no, God, no. Teresa? You scared me half to death. I thought I killed you, for God's sake. I, I... You all right? Yeah, I wish you had, though. All right, don't say that, all right? No, it's the truth. I, you know, I pretty much died when you said that we could never be together when you, you left me. Please don't do this, please. Oh, my God, I can't believe you walked in front of my car. What is wrong with you? You are beyond belief. Come on. Oh. Teresa, listen, there is nothing more to say. Please, step aside and let me go, please. No, I'm not moving. If you drive away, I'm afraid I'm never gonna see you again and I will not let you leave me. I won't.
Okay, Eve. What do you want? This is tit for tat, right? So, what do I need to do for you so you will keep my secret safe? I don't want anything from you, Ivy. I'm just sorry for you. You are sorry for me? You think that after all these years, all your dreams are coming true? You can't seem to understand that all your past actions are gonna turn those dreams into nightmares. Okay, look. You just keep your pity and your warnings to yourself because I am gonna do whatever it takes to make sure that my secret stays safe. You're never gonna come clean. Neither is Kay, so... You mean Kay? <sighs> okay, well, yeah. Kay. Kay knows? She knows about you and David Hastings? That he's a fraud? Mm-hmm. Yeah, she found out by accident. And she hated her mother so much that she kept quiet. <sighs> I don't believe that. Kay would never do such a thing. Please. She's as malicious and as scheming as... What, as you are? Oh, God, I can't believe this. Well, maybe you don't know Kay as well as you think you do. She is bad, Eve. And that is why she is never going to end up with Fox. Because he deserves better. Kay and Fox are in love, Ivy. Do you think a woman in love is going to keep this big secret from the man that she adores? I think it's much more likely that Kay will come clean to Fox. Hush a bye, you rascal. If you wake those babies, you'll feel the back of my wing. Spare the rod and spoil the child. That's what they always say. Get on with him. What do you think you're doing? Careful, Kay. You'll end up in a pie with four and twenty blackbirds. Tabitha, who is this crazy woman? I'm Mother Goose, you silly child. You think you're Mother Goose? Think? I know. And who are you? I'm Fox Crane. Oh, you poor soul. No wonder you don't know who I am. You Crane children never grew up with someone to read my nursery rhymes to you. What? My nanny taught me plenty okay, of nursery rhymes. Okay, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine, it's fine. Everything's fine. See, um, Mother Goose here, she's, she's our babysitter. Mm. You parked Marine and Dora with a lunatic? Lunatic? Bad boys get punished. You're about to know how Jack fell down and broke his crown. Uh, 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 all, all right, all right. Uh, we don't want things to get out of hand here. I hired her, Fox. She's a tip-top babysitter. Ever since the Black Plague left so many orphans. Yeah, well, uh, thank you, dear. That's, that's enough. She comes from an agency who send their sitters out dressed as characters from children's nursery rhymes. It's, it's really a lovely idea. The children are entertained while the parents are out. <laughs> uh, it's sort of fun. Except for this one, just screws Rain and Dora has to sleep. She still thinks she's Mother Goose. Yeah. Be silly, she's as sane as I am. <sighs> just a frustrated actor, aren't we all? <laughs> Once she gets the roll between her teeth, she just can't let it go. But she's wonderful with children. If you say so. <laughs> Good thing you didn't hire the big bad wolf, huh? <laughs> You'd last about two seconds with him. Okay. Honey, why don't you go in my room? I'll be in in a minute, okay? Okay, I can't wait. Why me? Why me? I just wanted a nice, quiet life. Huh. <laughs> Nonsense. Think of all the fun you'd be missing. <laughs> I must say, I was pleasantly surprised, Tabitha. Hurricane and Dora went straight to bed and never made a sound. I'll thank you for not referring to my daughter as a natural disaster. She's a very well-mannered, lovely little demon. <laughs> Tosh. This isn't the first time I've sat for you, dearie. I know. Well, if you feel like that, then just leave. Oh. And next time, I'll call on Bo Peep. Good luck to you. She can't keep her eye on one sheep, let alone a little demon like Endora. Be gone! Oh, I'm way ahead of you, sister. I forgot to say that 
night to the little girls. Where'd she go? Who, dear? Mother Goose. Oh, she left ages ago. What? I was just here. <laughs> Why don't you just um, say goodnight to the girls and I have some big plans for you. <laughs> What else can go wrong tonight? You tried to kill my father. Nurse, please tell the rest of the staff that a police guard will be arriving soon. Julian, what the hell? Oh, uh, you discovered my secret. Every once in a while, I attempt to look deep within myself for those father-son feelings that society expects me to have its momentary lapse, I assure you. Yeah, well, I didn't mean to interrupt. I just want to let you know the guard's going to be arriving soon. Well, I suppose that's a good thing. If we, in fact, want to keep the old bastard alive. Who would take a chance like this? I mean, with all the doctors and nurses around. Julian, we got to figure this out quick before the murderer strikes again. Now, do you have any idea who the killer might be? I'm not moving. I'm afraid if you drive away that you're going to disappear from my life, and I'm not going to let that happen. What is it going to take to get through to you? You have to accept the truth and what's going on here. I'm not accepting the job you offered. I can't work side by side with because you. Because you love me. I'm committed to Gwen. I'm in a marriage. We can't go on like this, Teresa. And to be honest with you, I'm a little worried about your sanity here. We can't do this. Well, Ethan, you should be worried about my sanity. Because you tell me that you love me, then you tell me that you want to be with me, and then you say in the same breath that it doesn't matter, and that I have to be OK with that. Right? You are forcing me to go against everything that I believe and everything that I know is right and true. We are meant to be together. We were meant to be together. We would have been together years ago. We are not going to be together, ever. <laughs> well, I know you don't mean Teresa, that. Teresa, I'm getting in my car, and I have to drive right out of your life, and I'm sorry. You're going to let me do no, it, OK? Ethan, please. Teresa, please. enough of this. Stop. I can't take it in my head anymore. <sighs> let go of this daydream, please. Just let it go. Teresa. Interrupting. Gwen, no, come in. Oh, God, I heard about the accident. Is she okay? Um, yeah, I, I think she'll be all right. Her I mean, eye. her injuries, oh. the, her injuries aren't life-threatening, but... Her eye. The nurse said she might lose it. Yeah, I hope that's not the case. Oh, God, where are Ivy and Julian? Um, they're around here somewhere. And Alistair had a code blue, so... Did he die? No, he didn't die. I don't think so. There would have been fireworks all over the harbor if he had. <laughs> I would have helped set them off. Man is a fiend. A fiend. A fiend, because the <laughs> word monster is losing its charm around here. No, he was completely obscene on New Year's Eve, you know, threatening to expose everyone's secrets. Do you think a secret can destroy your life? I know how you got the information about Ethan's paternity. You got it off of Teresa's laptop. And then you took that information, emailed it to the tabloids, and convinced Ethan that it was Teresa who sent it. Well, I guess that depends on the secret. You know, if it's a big one, it uh, might be best if you just keep it to yourself. Not that I'm talking about myself, because I happen to believe that it is best to be honest with your partner, but 
you know, maybe sometimes for the sake of the relationship, you've no choice but to keep a secret. A secret. I'm never gonna give Ethan up. But he's gone. God, that's Teresa. Damn it, she better slow down. She's headed right for that cliff. You are my passion for life. And do you honestly think that Kay is just gonna keep your secret forever? She has to. If she says anything at all, then she has to admit that she didn't lift a finger to stop me. And she's just as guilty as I am of breaking up her family. Yeah. You just keep telling yourself that, Ivy. Well, I've got to go. Try and remember what I said, Ivy. What I know is that Fox and Kay cannot be together, and I will stop that marriage. Whatever it takes. Oh, Fox. <laughs> Human love. And in my house of all places. I don't know what's happened to me. In the good old days, those two would have been hors d'oeuvres for the basement brigade. Uh-oh. Dora's awake. I hope she wasn't listening. She'd do anything to encourage those two. Blast. Now it'll be moon, June, spoon till the cows come home. I, I, I bought online. Oh, that's beautiful. Where's the projector at? <laughs> the, the what? Never mind. You don't want to spoil it, do you? What did I say? You're magic. No, no, not magic. I'm, I'm real. Everything I feel for you is real. <laughs> you don't have to convince me. It's just that this room, you know, making love with you under the stars, is just, it's perfect. Julian, think. Do you know anyone who had a grudge against both you and your father? Aside from the usual suspects, no one comes to mind. How do things get this bad? I, I don't know, Sam. In the old days, the only evil people in this town were my father and myself. You know, I never used to like you. I gotta tell you, you're improving with age. I hope he keeps you on the straight and narrow. Well, thanks to her, I, I discovered a bit too late that goodness and honesty are 
The two of the greatest things there are. She's... She changed me, Sam. And there isn't anything I wouldn't do for that woman. You know, I wasn't thrilled when TC and Eve broke up, but, uh, you know, TC's my best friend. Now, I guess their marriage is none of my business. But, you know, Eve is, uh, she's a good influence on you. You're becoming a man worthy of respect. Well, I could have, I could have become that man decades earlier if it hadn't been for father. I should have stood up, up to him when Eve and I first fell in love in Boston. Who knows, if Alistair dies, maybe the whole Crane family will change for the better. Think of the good you could do, Julian. Oh, I am, Sam, I am. I'm gonna go uh, meet with Ivy, all right? I'll check in later. Okay, good night. Tell me what's going on here, and you're going to tell me now. God, so what do I do? Do I tell Fancy the truth and risk losing her? Or do I keep her in the dark? I'm here, baby. I never left. Did I fall asleep? Yeah. But it's good you did. Now you need your rest. Mm -hmm. All these get well flowers for me. Not get well flowers, Fancy. We missed Valentine's Day, and I, I wanted to do something mm -hmm. for you to show you how much I love you. Mm -hmm. They're gorgeous. But I can't see them very well. Is my hair in my eyes? Um, Help me, no. Why can't I see? Fancy, I. I... <gasps> what is that fool doing? <gasps> uh, Teresa, my God, are you all right? Oh that was you. Yeah. You followed me. You you changed your mind. It's it's our love. It's too what? powerful, isn't it? You couldn't leave me. You you couldn't walk away from me. Oh, Ethan. <sighs> with my eye what happened i can't see fancy calm down okay that could just be the bandage but my eye noah what's wrong with me hey, do you remember the car coming crashing in through the window your eye was hurt in the accident hurt how, how badly I, I don't know the doctors are running some tests but i'm sure it'll be fine oh god i'm scared noah it's gonna be okay, sweetie. What are they gonna do? They don't know yet. They're waiting to see what the tests say. Look, don't worry about anything that's not in your control, okay? You need to rest. I think it'll help you heal faster. Please hold me. Tell me I'll be okay. Of course, it's gonna be okay. See, you can't live without me any more than I can live without you. Teresa, you got this all wrong. What are you talking about? You were driving like a crazy person to stop me, to tell me that you love me. No, T Teresa, to save your neck is what I was doing. Do you realize you were headed right for that cliff? Look. I just, I, I did what anybody would have done, okay? I, I, I didn't see that. I was kind of upset. I know, so. I know. L listen, you've got to stop this. You can't go on this way. You have little Ethan at home, not to mention a huge conglomerate to run right now. You have to start thinking before you act. I just don't want to go on without you. It's over. It is over. And I'm not going to be around next time to pick up the pieces. Do you hear me? Now look, if you're shaking up, if you can't drive, I'll be happy to call you a taxi before I go to Gwen. Uh, I don't need a taxi. I'm gonna be fine.
Good luck and good, good, goodbye. Goodbye. All right, out with it. What have you done? You didn't think I came here to give Alistair a get well bouquet, did you? Molly, make sure you re-sterilize Mr. Crane's ventilator. I wouldn't want him to get an infection. <clears throat> Hi, darling. What are you still doing here? Well, can a boy drop in on his sick father? Not if his last name is Crane. Is everything OK? Yes, of course. Julian, if you're going to keep something from me, you shouldn't tell jokes, because that's what you always do when something's upsetting oh, you. Oh, I see. You discovered my telltale. Well, thank you for the tip. No matter what you feel towards him, you are still his son. And it has to be difficult on you that somebody is trying to kill him. And if we only knew who. Well, I'm going to see if there's any news on Fancy's test, and then maybe we can have some coffee together. I would like that. I love you very much, Dr. Eve Russell. I love you too, Mr. Julian Crane. I'll see you soon. Yes. My, 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 Julian. You do surprise me. Sam comes in and you don't turn me in. Then my dear sister Eve pops in and you lied to her. Why, Julian? Why didn't you sell me down the river? <sighs> that was insane. <laughs> insane? I lose my mind every time we make love. That ceiling is truly bizarre. <laughs> but it's gorgeous. Huh? How do they do that? I have no idea. Maybe, uh, maybe Bill Gates and Stephen Jobs have a thing for astronomy. <sighs> I finally got Indora back to sleep again. With her romantic disposition, she might make Cupid himself appear in there. <laughs> oh, fooey, I spoke too soon. Oh my god. Wow. That's truly amazing. <laughs> and all for just $49.99. Uh, that's the most incredible thing I've ever seen. I know you are. <sighs> Every day with you is like the 4th of July. It's so beautiful. It's almost as beautiful as you are. Thank you, Endora. Hi, handsome. Hey, hey. Oh. <sighs> For you. Honey, these are beautiful, but why are we here? We're supposed to be on our way to New York right now. Yeah, I know. That's, uh, that's the thing. Oh, God, don't even tell me. Sit don't down, sit down, me. sit down. The job in New York fell through. One guess. It was Teresa. Yeah, she forced Lawrence Grant not to hire me. And she is holding me to my contract at Crane, which means I either work for her or I work for no one, Gwen. That evil bitch. Okay, um, okay. Well then, uh, honey, what are we gonna do? Because you obviously can't work for her and um, we need to do something so we can live. I know, I swear, I'm, I'm gonna think of something. You know, she's got my trust funds tied up, she's got our credit cards, and our checking accounts looking pretty sad. I know, honey, I know this, but I'm not gonna lie to you, it's a bad situation. But for tonight, just tonight, I think we should forget about Teresa, just forget about everything. Let's just concentrate on us. What do you say? I'll throw you a good time, we'll have a romantic dinner, a little dancing maybe, come on. We should really spend the money. No, but who cares? <laughs> it's you and I. I want, I want to celebrate us. I really want to do that. Let's just stay positive, and I know we're going to get through this together. I know it. Okay. Mm-hmm. 
And did you uh, make my reservation at the Seascape? Because I'm already here. That's good. Yeah, Mrs. Alistair Crane will be dining alone tonight. Now you listen to me, Valerie. I am not going to sit back and watch my son Fox throw his life away on that conniving, malicious Kate Bennett. I need to get rid of her, and I have a plan. OK, yes, another plan. I need your help. I hear you're the best researcher that Crane has, and I need you to find someone, someone who can drive a nail into Kay Bennett's coffin. <laughs> who? Just the father of her beautiful. Um, <laughs> excuse me, Sam. Yeah, well, what about Kay? You were talking about her on the phone. How, how much did you hear? It's just her name. Oh. Well, good. Then don't you, don't you ruin my surprise. <laughs> I um. Well, I'm 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 planning to give her a little pre-engagement gift, one that's gonna knock her socks off. How thoughtful. Mm. Oh, we're so lucky. We're going to be married, and our children are about to become engaged. <laughs> I got to tell you, after Grace left, I, I never thought I'd be happy again. But I am, because of you. After all this turmoil, we're building a life of love, honesty, and trust. And if Kay and Fox have what we have, they'll be happy for the rest of their lives. Wow, he's <laughs> right. That was amazing. You're lying to me. What? There's no way you got all that for $49.99. Listen, I don't know what you spent on that, but honey, I don't want you to waste all your money on me. Oh, I love you, Fox. <laughs> this is something way beyond love. This is something new. It's magical. It's, it's completely magical. No, oh, all that silly Fox and Kay. They're soon going to discover that not all magic is good. Go on, Julian. Tell me why you lied to say I'm an Eve. I didn't lie. But you didn't turn me in. Lies of omission are still lies. Shut up. Now I want to know what the hell you're doing here. Spell it out for you. It was me. All the time, it was me. I did it. I pulled the plug on that predator. I'm the one who knifed him, who tried to smother him. I poisoned his cigar. And I'm the one who shot you that night in the cannery. That's impossible. So you think. <laughs> you both have the devil's luck. If I had my way, you'd both be dead now. Rotting six feet under. As long as my arms are around you, nothing bad can happen. <laughs> oh, that's a nice thought. I know it's not true. Hey, I'll make it true. <laughs> the flowers are lovely, Noah. They're so sweet. 
wanted you to see something nice when you woke up. I did. You. I love you, Noah. I love you. to know what you were going to tell me about Maya. Tell me the truth, Noah. All of it. It's all going to work out. I love you. Just trust me, okay? I do. I do trust you. Hold me tight and never, ever let me go. Mm. Honey, thank you so much for tonight. And no matter what happens, we will always, always have each other. Always. It's only gonna be worse for everyone if Noah tells Fancy what happened.